Welcome to Catch Up, our blog covering the latest tech trends and insights in the seafood industry. I'm Eric Enotam, the co-founder and CEO of This Fish, and I'll be your host today. So this episode of Catch Up is the third in our AI guide series in which we survey the use of software and artificial intelligence in the seafood industry. In today's episode, we look at 52 software platforms used for seafood traceability. So way back in 2009, I started working on seafood traceability with Ecotrust Canada and local fishermen on Vancouver Island on Canada's west coast. We tagged some fish with unique codes and posted those codes with some basic catch details online, as you can see here. It was pretty rudimentary, what we call in the tech sector an MVP, or minimum viable product. But somebody in Toronto actually tweeted one of our traceable fish, uh, and that was incredibly exciting to, for us. But at the time, there weren't many companies working on seafood traceability, as you can see from this chart. It wasn't really until about five years ago that we start seeing launches of a lot of new traceability companies. And many of these are actually using new blockchain technology, as you can see from the orange bars uh, on the chart. In fact, about half the tech providers now use blockchain for traceability. But the reality is, is that it's still pretty new. This is Gartner's hype cycle for supply chain and blockchain. And what it shows is that blockchain is currently still at the peak of its hype cycle. Interestingly, while there is a lot of blockchain tech in traceability, there really isn't very much artificial intelligence being used uh, for traceability. In fact, we at This Fish are one of only a, of a few companies that I know of that are exploring the use of AI in traceability. And traceability isn't just growing in seafood, but in many other commodities such as coffee and chocolate, cotton, palm oil, diamonds, and many others. In fact, about 60% of the tech providers working with seafood companies also trace some other type of food or commodity. And what's causing all this increase of traceability? Well, there's been both a market and regulatory push for digitization and traceability over the last 20 years. The EU uh, brought in CAT certificates more than a decade ago, followed by the Seafood Importation and Monitoring Program in the United States. Now even Japan is starting to tighten its traceability rules for seafood imports. And there's also been about 26 major market initiatives launched by NGOs over the last two decades. Uh, most recently and most notably, the Global Dialogue for Seafood Traceability, which is trying to standardize the global data that's being collected for traceability. And the pandemic has also driven a lot of investment in supply chain technologies. Crunchbase reported that more than $11 billion have been invested in 2021 alone. And all of this traceability is leading to uh, greater supply chain transparency. More than 80% of the traceability providers enable consumers to actually trace their fish with a mobile device. And about half are also adhering to the new global dialogue standard for uh, data standards. And about 43% claim that there's some kind of data verification in their software. In fact, I think that how the truth and accuracy of traceability data is verified could be a major differentiator amongst traceability providers in the future. And in my view, artificial intelligence is going to be key uh, for verification. So uh, if you'd like to learn more about my thoughts on data verification and AI, you can read uh, my article online. You can simply scan this QR code or visit our blog at this.fish slash blog. And of course, you can always sign up for our monthly catch-up newsletter at this.fish slash catch-up. So thanks for catching up with me, and we'll see you next time.